way. How these new obstacles has contributed to our success. Obstacles protect opportunities. Today, I've got something for everyone. To show how obstacles protect opportunities for you, I'm going to share three short stories. A love story, a business story, and an adventure story. First, the love story. When I met my husband, Mike, online, I was a Canadian in Canada, and he was an American in Beijing. There were a lot of obstacles for our relationship. Distance, time zones, and although you might find this hard to believe, there are differences between Canadians and Americans. Instead of looking at these differences in a negative light, I thought to myself, hey, the fact that Mike is in Beijing is actually a huge opportunity. He's a good-looking, successful entrepreneur, he has a heart of gold, and he speaks Chinese fluently. If he were back in California, he definitely would have already been snatched up by some other foxy lady. Most American women who would see his online profile saying, location, Beijing, China, would think, nope, not interested. But I considered China exciting and I saw the 10,000 kilometer distance as an obstacle for other women. Three months after first connecting online, I landed at the Beijing Capital Airport and we met for the very first time. And every day, we're building our happily ever after. Obstacles protect opportunities. Now, the business story. As you can imagine, since first moving to Beijing, I've encountered a lot of obstacles being a foreign entrepreneur living and working here. Cultural and language differences, policies and laws that are constantly changing, navigating the dreaded visa process, and the list goes on. These obstacles cost a lot of time, energy, and money. But remember, these obstacles keep others out. The business opportunities here are abundant and lucrative. Since the Chinese education system emphasizes hard skills like math and science, there's a huge opportunity for what we do. Help employees at international companies present clearly and persuasively. We've come to appreciate barriers to entry because we know that they're protecting valuable business opportunities for our company. When others complain, pack up, and go home, we expand. Obstacles protect opportunities. My last story for you today is the adventure story. I've had the privilege of traveling to 40 countries, and in many of them, I've enjoyed hiking mountains to experience God's creation. I've taken on the challenge of hiking the most active volcano in Chile and the tallest summit in Ukraine. Mike and I were down in Shandong province leading a training for State Grid, the Chinese electric state-owned enterprise. We stayed an extra day to hike Taishan Mountain. I was so looking forward to the serenity and the natural beauty of the Chinese mountainside. Have you ever heard the Chinese expression, ren shan, ren hai, people mountain, people see? I fully experienced the people mountain part of that expression. I was constantly dodging selfie sticks and hiking poles and trying to get that perfect scenic photo for WeChat or Instagram? Forget about it. There was easy access to the base of the mountain. There were stairs or a cable car all the way to the top and there was plenty of food, water, and restrooms along the way. The easy access and the lack of obstacles drew crowds, which made it impossible to experience the mountain in peace. Now, 
Let's contrast that experience with another mountain I hiked. Last year, I traveled to Malaysia and I participated in a trail race called The Most Beautiful Thing. That's alluring, right? Not so fast. Let's talk through some of the obstacles. First, it was intense. My race was 30 kilometers with a total of 2,300 meters elevation gain, which is equivalent to climbing the entire height of the CN Tower in Toronto four times. Second, it was hard to access, and it was a rough, steep trail with water crossings and rope bridges. The views were breathtaking. It was the exact experience in nature that I was searching for. Was the experience better than Taishan? Absolutely. Were there more obstacles to get there? Absolutely. Obstacles protect opportunities. I'll conclude with one final thought. This message is both a warning and an encouragement. For the lazy, the faint of heart, the complainers, the doubters, obstacles are barriers. But for you, don't let obstacles be barriers. They can be your road markers to success. The walls that protect your garden of opportunity. You might not need to travel 10,000 kilometers or climb 2,300 meters but you will face obstacles in life. So, the next time you face an obstacle, say these exact words to yourself. Obstacles protect opportunities. Say it with me. Obstacles protect opportunities. Thank you.